What happened? Oh, uh, that day? Yeah. Well, I'm headed to work with my two daughters, and uh, I'm going to drop them off, meet the mother on 14th Street, and we go past uh, the turnstile. We get in. I see this young man standing. He falls flat back on his back. And uh, it looked like to me he was having some type of seizure. Because his hands and his legs are kicking, you know, and his body is jerking. So I alerted the token booth clerk work what was going on to call the cops, to call the paramedics, which he did. And I proceeded on with my two daughters. And when I got up on him, I, saliva was running out the side of his mouth. It sounded as if he was gagging or choking. So I propped him up and I positioned my daughters. First, I positioned my daughters to the left, which is the wall. The right is, is, is the train tracks. And once I position them out the way, I immediately, um, like I said, propped them up and applied first aid and uh, CPR. You know. How'd you, when did you learn CPR? Well, uh, the, when I first went in the military, you know, I first learned it, learned it there. I did three years in the Navy from 74 to 77. But I'm a local 70, 79 worker and uh, at the present time, and we have uh, classes, monthly classes with CPR, health, this and that, or whatever you want. I need training in. What what went through your mind? I mean, if you can remember that day, because I it's really hard to understand. I, you know, most people, uh, if they saw something like that, first of all, would be scared to death, and 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 wouldn't risk their own life. Did you first think you were going to pull him out, or did you know that you were going to push him down? No, no the, the thing was, was I, his first seizure happened on the platform, and uh, it was like eighty to hundred people. But only me and two uh, two other ladies came to the young man camera assistance, and everybody else was looking at their watch like they was too busy and had some some better place or better things to do. And New Yorkers, you know, can be quite cold from 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 time to time, you know. And uh, I saw the man in in need of help, and although I was on my way to work, I didn't mind being late, you know, saving a life. But you risked your own. Uh, yes. Did I you did. know that going? <clears throat> yes, 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 yes. I risked my own saving his, but you know, even if I had a loss, my own. I mean, you know, I believe in life after death. It doesn't bother me. What, what, uh, what kind of? Uh, and I don't know whether this is a sensitive question or not, but uh, where'd you learn your values? Was your mom and dad my a big mom, influence? My, my mom was a big influence. Uh, and my upbringing, because uh, you know she, she did keep us in church you know, every every Sunday, and uh, my grand people too when we was living south, as my mom was burning herself up in the city, and uh, you know we stayed with my father people for a little while who were, who was farmers. I grew up on a farm, and I moved to New York when I was like twelve. So how how has this experience changed you? Oh uh, man, it's so. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, it's, it's, it's almost like I'm living my own fairy tale as some young kids may read about a fairy tale or like Snow White or something out of a book. I'm living that, you know, and like I'm, I'm here now and uh, two more days from now I'm scheduled to be in California. I just left Germany three weeks ago. Wow. You know, it's... I'm meeting uh, people with power. Uh, I'm meeting the rich. I'm, I'm meeting the poor world, world, worldwide. I'm, I'm getting love from from everybody. How have you changed? I, the thing is, I haven't. <laughs> not at all. I, not at all. I'm still that mellow guy that uh, that I was. I and haven't. and how are your daughters? How did they react? Were they they must have been just how, how old are they and how did they, they were react? day four and uh, six. The uh, baby uh, Sashi, she's four and uh, Shuki is six. And I have a son, 30, 33, Wesley Jr. And how how did the girls react when you when you I mean you talked to them immediately after they Dad, what did you do? What did they say? Well, the they were screaming and crying. <laughs> the, the the baby uh, she wanted to leap out the lady arm because. Uh, uh, when Cameron had his second seizure and he fell into the tracks, I pointed back at the two ladies holding my daughters down, and uh, I didn't have a second to, to lose. And I already had started working him on, on his first seizure on the platform, and he fell in the tracks and had a second seizure. 
And uh, although I looked and I saw this oncoming, coming train, you know, uh, I just felt that I had to do something, you know, because uh, I was the only person there. It was just on that side, I was the closest, the only man, and the two lady had my daughters, and I knew once I pointed back at them and told them to hold my daughters, I was able to stay, stay focused. Where if they wasn't there to hold my daughters down, my little one would have jumped behind me. Thank God that did not happen. Mm -hmm. And when you were on top of this man, mm -hmm. um, um, was he moving? Yes, his hands and legs. Like as the train was coming in, uh, I did. Uh, I, I bought it. I was trying to get his hands mm -hmm, like this, mm -hmm, and I'm pulling, mm -hmm. but he had landed in the, the the gutter, and the hand was wet. So each time I grab him, would slip apart. Each time we slip apart, the train is here now. I go f grab his hands again. The train is there now. So last time I just grabbed him by his clothing, mm -hmm. brought him up, and tried to sling him up on the platform because mm -hmm. he was a little, uh, lot more heavier than me. I had him by height, but he had me by weight. And when I see that that wasn't working, I, I looked between us and I saw the train was so close. I'm like, wow, we ain't gonna make it. So I, I bear hugged him and brought him back, looked over his shoulder, said, you know what, go for the gutter, and just pushed him back and felt on top of him. Was he saying anything to you? No, no he was in the, the, his seizure mode. He, he, didn't, mm -hmm. he didn't know who I was. I didn't know who he did. We was two complete strangers, wow. you know? And, uh, as once I felt the, the, the first train car just glided that hat, you know what I'm saying? And once I felt that the knit hat kind of pulled back, I just buried You my felt hat. your hat yeah. being pulled back yeah. by the train? Yeah, because we Oh my lord. Out. I felt onto the oncoming train, and the train was going this way, so it just pulled. Once I felt, felt the pull, I just ducked my head beside his, and I'm like, sir, I don't know you, you don't, you don't know me, but whatever you do, don't push me up, because if you push me Ooh. up, I'm going to get it, and you, you're going to be okay. And I got two young girls up there that are looking for their father to come up out of this alive. When you were under the train, was like, did, it, did, it, did, it, did it seem like a second, or did it seem like a lifetime? It seemed like a, a lifetime, because, you know, you got this speeding train over you, and the conductor, he had saw us, but, you know, it wasn't nothing he can do other than hit his brakes, so I got this squeaking noise you know, that I'm hearing. And I, I wanted to cover cover my ears, but if I cover my ears, he may push me up. So I gotta hold on to him, take take the noise, and take this, take that. And even once the train came to a stop, I still had other elements to worry about because we both was lying in water. And when you got a person pinned down, they want their freedom. He trying to get rid, grab stuff underneath the train and they got that third rail power on. So now I got to worry about getting fried. Man, oh man! And so you got him up on the platform, right? Mm -hmm. And what happened? What happened after you got him up? Uh, we we crawled out, and five of us uh, rescue people grabbed me. Four or five grabbed him. They, they, I got up on the platform. Uh, I had to get back focused because you know once they killed the power, it got complete dark underneath. So you know when you come into the light, once they turn the light back on, your eyes got to adjust. So. Our first thought came in my mind is, yo, where are my daughters? Where, 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 my, where are my daughters? And, and I, matter of fact, I screamed from underneath the train. That I tell my daughters that you know I'm okay and the man is okay. You know that that there's two young girls up there. Tell them that their father is okay.